low key throwback to when I used to only do makeup and DIY videos on my channel. Hey guys, it's me Paige and welcome to another video. And today we are going to be doing a very requested video, which is Get Ready With Me. Plus, this is going to be a chit chat Get Ready With Me, since I'm going to be talking about the highly requested topic of how I overcame bullying. So I feel like it's important for me to talk about a subject that's equally hard to talk about, but equally something that you guys should hear about. So I've been requested for the past year to talk about my bullying story. And um, currently, like, I've been trying to make this video, like, roll the clips. Oh, I can't talk about this. It's, it's been hard. I can't talk about this. Oh, my gosh. The point of me doing this get ready with me, also this chit chat story video, I guess, is that I've been wanting to create more makeup content on my channel, which is something I'm very excited for. And I wanted to do more like sitting down, talking to you guys. So this is what the point of this video really is. The first thing I use is the Poor Professional from Benefit. This is the best primer that I've ever used. I've only been using this for like two to three weeks and this primer makes my skin really soft plus it like holds down all my makeup. So where do I begin with my story? In all, I feel like I've been trying to make a video of how I overcame bullying but um, all those videos I've been trying to do is just sit down for, with me doing nothing. But I feel like if I'm more productive while talking about it, I'm more not like really emotional about it. So this is why I'm doing it like this. So I honestly use like two concealers, but my favorite one is the Bare Minerals Bare Skin, which it's more lightweight, but if I want to be a bit extra, I kind of like using the Tarte Shape Tape, and my color is Tan Sand. And I just put that all over my face, to be honest, at this point. I don't really know how to start with my little story or how I overcame it because I'm only 15 years old and I, I, in my opinion, I don't think this is the time for me to actually start talking about it. I'm just gonna <laughs> um, blend it with my beauty blender, which is disgusting. <laughs> and um, I, I don't know where to start because I'm still young and I still may get bullied in my life, which is really sad, but it's, it's an okay topic for me to talk about at this time. The first time I actually ever got bullied was in second grade, which it always eventually starts in elementary, yeah, elementary school. And I was, I was always teased for the littlest things. So in second grade, this is so stupid. Um, I can admit to myself, I was a very ugly person. I still am. But, um... I was teased to the point where, because I was a very nerdy child back then, there was this person next to me that would always make fun of me, and we had to sit next to people in desks, it was like, boy, girl, boy, girl, because um, girls tend to get more in trouble because they talk to, like, their girl best friends in class in, like, elementary school. He would low-key make fun of me for the way I look every day. I'm just going to use the bear skin for, like, um acne scars or acne. I I was always made fun of for different things every single year. Like second grade it was okay. Third grade on the other hand I was very fat. I can agree I was very fat and I um, was made fun of mostly because of random things. I I remember it's a very childlike thing for people to not like you when you're younger because of how you look or how you act. When my concealer isn't really blended and I use this flat brush when I, I don't know, does anyone remember when this was a trend on the internet? So I'm just gonna blend it every everywhere. Also, I don't use foundation because foundation isn't really my hype. <laughs> So third grade and second grade were really bad. Fourth grade, 
Your girl was so bad. Oh my gosh. I was, in my opinion, different. Like, I don't like using the word different, especially for me because it's really weird. But when I say that I was different than other people in my grade, um, I didn't like doing things that other kids liked doing. Like, everyone wanted to play outside. I liked staying indoors, which is not my opinion now. And I, I, just, I just did things that kids normally didn't like doing back then. So, for setting powder, because I use setting powder after... Um, I do my concealer and my primer. I'm going to be using the iconic Patrick Star powder. Patrick's powder. And I use it with this fluffy, really astery um, unicorn fluffy brush. But it, it still works. So I'm going to tap it on the lid. It's a very peachy color, which I really like. And I'm just going to put that all over my face. And this is the best setting powder ever. In all, I use so many setting powders and this powder is the best. But anyway, on the topic of bullying, um, I remember during recess, I would, I had an imaginary friend, which was a blue and red striped ball. And I named it Snowball because I wanted a pet, but I never had a pet. That is such a sad story. Oh my gosh. And in fourth grade was also the year when I actually started having crushes on guys, which is the the peak of or like elevation of me getting bullied in some point. Because I, since it was my first crush, everyone remembers their first crush. My first crush was the weirdest. Like, I don't count kindergarten or anything. My first crush was in fourth grade. And, um, like, my personal, like, childhood friends would know who it is, actually. And, um, I agree that crush I had was very over the top and very unnecessary how I acted around the person. And, um, in all, it was a very strange crush. So, for blush, I use the Tarte Amazonian Clay 12 hour blush and I use it in part A and honestly this is new and I feel like this is a very nice blush also um the design's so extra and I use my Ulta brush and it's like a double sided brush for like contour and I use actually the contour brush which is if before anyone like judges me I low key I am not good at makeup so no one should judge me really hard for this video. So on the topic of me having a crush. So I was at the point where um, on Valentine's Day, I actually gave my crush a no about me liking them. And that moment was the, like, it shouldn't have happened because that was the peak of me being the worst person on earth. And also that is like the reason why I, get bu I got bullied. So that note, I still don't know what that note says. I don't remember. I'm glad I don't remember. And the note basically like told my crush like how I felt on stuff. And that was the start of me getting notes in my desk. So we were fourth grade children. We don't have phones. We had our iPods, our iPod touches. Oh my gosh, they're back to those. And in all, I feel like passing notes are more anonymous and also I didn't know that when I got notes in my desk that it was it was going to lead to something else I feel like I should have told someone but I didn't and I I don't want to talk about what were on those notes but uh it was just like super hard because I would just it's it's so weird to tell people yeah in fourth grade I got a bunch of notes in my desk that made me feel bad about myself and that shouldn't really happen I don't know so I really don't fill in my eyebrows because my eyebrows are really dark enough and um I actually use the end of this NYX pencil and I used to fill in my eyebrows with the NYX eyebrow pencil crayon in medium brown but that was the biggest mistake so I'm just gonna fill in fill in no brush my eyebrows so they're like decent fifth grade that was when Fifth through, like, whatever grade, which I'm going to tell you, is actually the grade, like, the starting grade where everything was just, it was very serious bullying. So, um, 
in fifth grade, it was like the year where everyone found out what drama was. Where, like, in general, everyone just made rumors about people, but I really didn't bother by that. And, okay, so I am going to be using the Too Faced Happy, um, Happy Face Peach Frost Melting Powder Highlight. And I'm kind of upset because, look, the freaking highlight, when I bought it, it fell out of the thing, and I'm super mad and pissed by that. So, um, but this is still one of my favorite highlighters. When I was in fifth grade, people would make rumors about me, which... I don't understand now why I listened. They were stupid too. There weren't, there were like, cause I, I'm, oh. people would make fun of me for how I looked, how I acted, and I really took that to heart, and I immediately changed who I was, cause there was this girl back then that pretended to be, no, not why did I do that? I mean, she low-key pretended to be friends with me, and she was like, oh yeah, boys and people like us nowadays, like, like that type of stuff. I don't know why I listened to her, but I was, I feel appreciated for that girl. She, I didn't, my hair back then was a wavy mess. I would wear my glasses all the time, like, and I, I, that's when I also started doing makeup. Because in fourth grade, that's when I started doing a YouTube channel in which I like squishies. I still do like squishies, you guys should know. And I feel like um, when I started doing makeup, I we weren't even allowed to wear makeup at our school. But I was like a rebel, and I still did it. I just filled in my eyebrows really weirdly. I put mascara on, lip gloss, and I straightened my hair, and I did the weirdest parting on earth. I still don't understand why I did that. And I just did that so people would like me. But little did I know, P I, that girl just told me to do that so people can make fun of me. People would say that I'm trying too hard and, and all. It was just a rough time. So, um, for highlight, I actually do another highlight over it, and I use my tapered blush brush which I know it's not a highlight brush but I use it it's from crown brushes and I use actually my ratchet but it's still good forever 21 rainbow highlighter which is like the craze back then but I still use it and I just put that over my um cream cream high highlight because I need more highlighting glow so um I did drama back then like when I say drama I mean like acting play stuff I did that back then and it was a really like escape for me but I didn't know that people still made fun of me in drama for how I acted and how I looked which I I always wanted to be someone I didn't want to be which I wanted to be someone who is popular or I wanted to be someone who is likable for everybody. So now that I did all my face stuff, I'm going to be priming my eyes with the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion, in which this is actually my favorite um, primer. My favorite primer before used to be the Milani typical drugstore one, but now I like this one, which is super better. So, ooh, fifth grade was really bad, but sixth grade would have to be the worst. Yeah, sixth grade would have to be the worst timing for me. In sixth grade, I like, like I said, I was bullied for different topics every single year. And the topic that year, um, it's stupid, but I took it to heart. I was dark. <laughs> I was super dark. If you guys don't know, I'm Filipino. And Filipinos are normally really dark, but they get lighter when they get older. Like, I am really lighter than I used to be back then. It's super weird. I don't understand. I was told I was black. I told I was African American. And I was told so many things that I took it to heart because I was insecure about myself. And I, I just... I really don't know what I was thinking. For eyeshadow, I actually used the Patrick Star Glam AF eyeshadow palette, and it's my favorite eyeshadow palette because it has all the useful colors. So on my lid, 
I am going to be using this light brown, light brownish chocolatey color, and I'm going to use that all over my eyes. Um, bullying was okay, and I, I, I took it to heart to the point where I was sad and depressed, which is not good at all, and, um, this is the part where I really don't like talking about. Like I said, in fourth grade, I received notes from anonymous people. For, for sixth grade, it got worse. <laughs> I got notes in my locker and I didn't want to tell anyone because I was embarrassed of myself. I told one person who really didn't have an opinion about it and I I feel I feel bad that I no, I don't feel bad. I feel weirded out that it was my best friend during the time. He didn't really care because it's a guy. It's six grade guys. They're all douchey during that time. And they don't know what to say when their girl best friend, who was bullied a lot, that she has gotten notes about her killing herself and whatnot. On my brush, I'm going to put in the crease this dark brown color over here. On the, I, I, I dab a little, I don't want a lot, I don't want too dramatic, and I just put that in the crease and I blend. And along with that, I use this really gold, pinky rose gold color also with it, so it won't be as dramatic. I didn't really know how to like handle myself. And I, I, that was the year where I questioned my whole life, where I was... I was questioning who I was, which is not really, that should be more of a high school thing. You shouldn't be questioning who you are in, like, middle school. I also put this brown, um, light brown tan shade in my crease too to balance it out because it's too overpowering. I, I don't know why I thought it was a good choice for me to... To even think about like who I was, I questioned myself because I was made fun of. So seventh grade, <laughs> that's interesting. Seventh grade was not my year. No, wait, seventh grade actually was my year. Eighth grade was kind of like balancing with sixth grade. So in seventh grade, my life was actually okay. I made a notebook in seventh grade for how many times I was called a name and I wrote it down and I sadly filled that whole notebook and I still have that notebook. And it's depressing to see that I I did that because that just brought myself down all the time. I told one person about that notebook because that was my best friend during the time. And um, I was just made fun of for the stupidest things uh, I I'm I wear glasses. Also, if you guys don't know, I'm cross-eyed, so my eyes randomly cross in a weird position when I'm like looking at something, and people would make fun of me for that. I was made fun of for how I was cross-eyed, and I really hated myself wearing glasses, so I didn't wear glasses as much. That was when I had the fear of public speaking. When I I don't like public speaking, in my opinion, because it it. I, all I thought of, my friends, not my friends, my classmates will make fun of me. For mascara, I actually use the Better Than Sex Mascara, which is actually the best mascara ever. I have it in waterproof, which is good too. And I feel like lashes are my favorite thing on earth besides my eyeshadow, which is also the part I screw up because um, mascara would get on my lid. So, 8th grade. 8th grade. It, it was my year. Eighth grade was the year where I realized that I should be friend, be friend? Yeah, I should be friends with everybody. Because, um, if there's, like, we're graduating, and I feel like I should be more friends with people, everybody. I thought this year was going to be good until I got bullied really badly in eighth grade at the end of the year. In which a group of guys in my grade made a, the, it's their own group chat. And they sent photos of me. Um, I had no idea. I was laughing along because they're guys. And I was like, okay, how funny. Very funny. 
little did I know that was about me. I really cared about what people thought about me, which is really upsetting. So for eyeliner, I am slowly running out of the Ulta eyeliner. I don't even know the name of it anymore, but I really like this eyeliner, and I'm going to use it till it's actually down, 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 down. So I'm going to use that for my eyes. Um, I thought that the I was actually going to have a year without people making fun of me. And every time I try to get out of the group chat, they put me back in the group chat. And in all, it upsets me that I, I like, say, I'm saying this now, that conversation actually happened recently, like last year before I graduated, which is like April, May. It's sad that I actually had that happened before I graduated because I thought that everyone was my friend, but everyone just, oof. Everyone actually wasn't really my friend in the end. How did I survive bullying? How did I survive it? Um, in my opinion, I'm not going to say that there's no way of surviving it. You are the person who has to make it survive. You have to make yourself survive. Because thinking about it, and I can't think about it without not doing anything productive because I'll cry. I thought to myself that I never stopped getting bullied because I never would stop it. I thought if I stopped it, someone would like say something about me. And yes, I'm in high school. I will eventually get bullied. Yes, people make fun of me in high school all the time, which is a normal thing, but I really try not to take that to heart because it shouldn't matter because in the next two years, it's not going to matter. So I'm going to use this rose gold in my inner tear duct. duct. I don't know what it's called. Just for a little shining, shine glow. So anyway, how I truly survived bullying was because I, I'm not going to say like be cheesy, like my friends. I didn't have really any good friends. I... I truly, I, no offense to anyone who went to my old school who's watching this, I, I truly did care about a ton of people, which I did. I cared really much about how people felt, including how people said about me. And I remember for a field trip that everyone wanted to get some other person and no one wanted me. So I had to tell the teacher because no one wanted to be my partner. And that was very embarrassing because I was old enough to like figure out myself. But yet I told a teacher because I thought that was a very thing I should do because I couldn't stand up for myself. Which is very embarrassing. I made so many bullying stories on my channel. But I feel like this is the most ready video I feel I have ever felt to make an outcome of. How do I feel about bullying now? The bully is someone who is a person, whether you're getting bullied online, through notes, through anything else, it's someone who wants to manipulate you in your head so you feel like you're nothing. That's all I have to say. Everyone says that you should get help, but you should get help. But there's specific moments where a child can't ask an adult for help because as someone who got bullied for seven, six to seven years, really, um, I, in my opinion, didn't really like trusting adults because adults think they understand everything, but on a personal level, they actually really don't because we live in a new century, which, no offense to every adult out there. That went in my mouth, and I end up, I end up using the matte finish, Finny Matte NYX um spray, which holds down everything. I go like whole bottle like every five months. <laughs> so I did all my makeup, which means I have to wrap up this video now. How did I overcome bullying? I overcame bullying because I. I thrived to myself for a goal. I thrived for a good future. I thrived that there's something good out there 
And right now that I'm in high school, I feel like people make fun of people for stupid reasons because they, they, they may not even know that it's bullying in general. And people should not put other people down because you may never know what that person is going through at home. People don't know what they're going through. You shouldn't make fun of someone because you don't know what's going through their head every single hour and every day. Because people have this identity, what they look like. At school, I look different. At home, I, I, I look lazy. And when I'm around family parties, I'm very talkative and active. <laughs> so there's this always character on the outside. But inside, there's something different that everyone should know. That, I mean that everyone shouldn't really know because everyone, everything going in your head, it may be crazy, it may be weird, it may be something different that other people will understand. So in all, how I feel about bullying today is that you will get through it. I trust you. I trust everything that's going through your head that it's... Sorry to say, it's going to get better. Like, no one really wants to hear it. it's going to get better. But in all, I feel like after talking about it, after two... I made two videos in the past. One of me crying. One of me, another of me having note cards. Like, I don't know, like saying I'm pregnant or anything. And I feel that... I feel glad that I talked about this because I've been wanting to talk about it and it's a very good time for me to talk about it because I'm, I'm over, I'm still in the process of overcoming it because people still make fun of me. But in all, I hope you guys like this video and I hope I'm going to make more videos like this. If you guys like this video, please thumbs up and please subscribe and also please like, I hope like during this video you were either eating food, that sounds weird, eating food, getting ready to go to bed, and all just getting ready with me, or just like doing your homework and listening to this, because it's important to sit down and listen to other people, which is what I like doing, when I do my makeup, eat food, whatever, etc., I watch Get Ready With Me videos, morning routines, and other like vlogs, because I, I feel like it's good for me to do that. So, I hope you guys like this video. I will see you guys in my next video. And, oh, this is my first, no, this isn't my first video of 2018. I think so. Okay, so I'll see you guys next time. And, bye. But I was just